So in the previous video, I introduced parallel lines. Now let's look at a pair of parallel lines. Okay, here's one and here's the other. And I'm going to strike another line through the pair. Now, this line is not parallel to either of those two. But it does create some interesting angles. Now, the angles that I'm going to be looking at in this first video are this angle and this angle. Okay. Now, one thing that you'll probably have been taught at some point is that, well, what we're dealing with here is it hasn't been drawn accurately. And there may actually be a sign next to the question that you're looking at which says, not drawn accurately. And that just means, well, I cannot put a protractor up to this and get the correct answer. That's fine. But... Geometry cannot lie to us when we're drawing on a bit of paper or on a whiteboard. So if two angles look similar, they nearly always will be the same. Okay? So if two angles like this, they look very similar. So in all likelihood, they probably are equal. And in this case, they are. No matter what parallel lines you draw and which line you cross them with, these two angles will always be the same. And they are known as corresponding angles. So if this angle is 70 degrees, then that angle is 70 degrees. But that's not just all the corresponding angles that are there. If you measure these two, then these two are also corresponding. And if you measured these two, these should also be the same, and they are corresponding with one another, as are this angle and this angle. They are also corresponding. So, corresponding angles, the property is that one of the angles is outside the parallel lines, so I'll we'll call these angles between the parallel lines and the other ones outside. So you can see that one is always outside the parallel lines. And it's always on the same side, always on the same side of that line. So the green is on the same side as that green. The red is on the same side as the red. One inside, one outside, and equal. Okay. So that is the property. And in a lot of cases, uh, some teachers call them F angles. And that is because if I put look at those angles there, it is effectively an F that creates those two angles between. And now you may be looking for other F's that you can find, but the F might be upside down and back to front, but it's always got those two angles between. Okay? So one angle between the parallel sides and one angle outside. 